Oh, hey, yay, everybody. Oh, that was fun. Fucking, this, this, ugh, fucking unbelievable. It was like, I hate this. I, I don't know, really know Google nearly as well as maybe I ought to. But they have this whole thing. And go to YouTube. Go live. Tried that. Put up a thumbnail. And then it sat there for damn near 10 minutes. Waiting to go live. Thanks, YouTube. You guys know how I, they're just so good at fucking up a perfectly good thing. It's 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 pretty amazing. So I'm just bringing everything up here now. I got the chat up. Hey yo, hey yo, to me as well. How's it going? Yeah. So I put together well a good portion of my portion of tonight's midweek, which I really need to update the description with. Which I'll I'll actually I'll do that right now. Um. Oh, Christ, neighbors are making noise. It's 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 pretty standard day here. Pretty 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 uneventful. Um, how's everybody else out there doing? No, I don't want to go to my. Oh fuck it, I go to my own Twitch. I'm just getting things set up too. So this is just a casual like bullshit waste of time kind of thing, which is most of my streams. If we're gonna be honest with our, ourselves, yeah. Let's see. Can I get there? Oh yeah, I can get there. Good. So let's see. There we go. I don't really need that anyway. So, ba -ba 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 -ba. midweek. There we go. Updating with a link now. Good for me. So, uh, without being able to see the chat at the moment, I uh, hope everyone's having a good time. I got a bunch of packages in the mail, so I figured I'd. Um, well, I figured I'd open them on stream. I always kind of feel bad if I get if I get shit in my PO box, right? I always feel a little bad if I don't open it on stream, even though most people say, oh, you don't need to stream it, nothing like that. Da, 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 da. But um, I got some, I got a whole bunch of shit. Um, a stack of packages from what I'm, I, I believe to be one individual, uh, one friend of the channel, one friend of the show from all the way over in England, um, which will explain, I'm sure, a bunch of what I'm about to see there. Um, let's see if I can get back. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, hey, everybody, everybody, everybody. All right, cool. So there's some people here. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm just actually going to we'll just jump into it. Um, first one, now this is actually something which came to me by way of Amazon, um, ordered for me by, uh, by a friend of the show. Uh, I believe it was Smart Pig who got me this. Um, but I think I'm, I'm pretty certain I know what this is. I'm going to use this shitty stain utility knife that this is how bad these knives are i need a whetstone like nobody's business but they're so charming and yep yep so from a don't fuck with the wire uh from uh i think it was last midweek yeah this was actually this was actually, hey, what's up, Vernaculus? Sam Mal, curated Ben Mills. Hey, guys, how's it going? This was actually a book. We, it came up on last midweek. This was a book, a copy of this book. Was returned to a library like 87 years past its due date. Um, it's the Spoon River Anthology. Now, originally published in Reedy's Mirror from May 29th, 1914 until January 5th, 1915, and then first in book form in 1915 with an expanded edition in 1916, Spoon River Anthology is a collection of poetry inspired by the tombstones of the dead in a small rural American town. There is no real Spoon River as the entire town and its inhabitants are fictional, but much of the town and its deceased occupants are based in part on Master's own childhood growing up in a small town in Illinois, Spoon River Anthology is Edgar Lee Master's masterpiece. Um, let's see if we can... It, that's the boy right there. That's our man. That's our man right there. That's, that's, our, that's our Edgar Lee Master's. He's a serious-looking chap. Nice spectacles. Oh, thank you, Dayton. $5 from Dayton. Always appreciated. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. But as we come into this... Sorry, I'm just trying to catch up and see what's what. Um, but yeah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this masterpiece, a collection of poetry that weaves a tapestry of the lives of a group of small town Americans, which taken together reads like a novel critiquing the notion of the idyllic rural American life. A critical and financial success from its first publication, Spoon River Anthology is truly 
as a truly original work of American literature, the likes of which there has not been before or since. This edition, printed on premium acid-free paper, follows the expanded 1916 edition with its additional 35 poems, The Spoon Aid, and the epilogue, and includes an introduction by May Swenton. Now, I'm going to need to double check. I'm pretty sure the original work of this is, at least at this point, public domain. And if that's the point, you can expect some readings if they're any good. What do you guys think? I mean, should, should, I, should I give one a try here? Oh, this is, this is hefty stuff. Hefty, hefty stuff. Where are Elmer, Herman, Bert, Tom, and Charlie? The weak of will, the strong of arm. The clown, the boozer, the fighter, all, all are sleeping on the hill. Hmm, hmm sounds, sounds rather interesting. So I'm going to have to look into this more. Thank you, Smart Pig, for actually picking me up a copy of this. I don't get a chance to read poetry too often. And in this day and age, sadly, it seems like it's sort of a lost art. It's the kind of thing people, well, people don't really give as much a shit about it as I think maybe they should. Now, by the way, if you are a patron at that certain hangout level, um, if you check the patron section of the Discord or the messages sent out, uh, you should have a link to this hangout because, again, this is just a casual sort of shit-shooting hangout um, before midweek. I've got most of the show on my end sort of set already, and now all i got to do is set up the little studio space and move the microphone and the camera and redo the white balance, make sure the lighting's correct, and blah, blah, blah. But all the same, thank you much for this book. I'm, I'm looking forward to like digging into it. I like anthologies too because it's the kind of thing you don't need to commit to reading the whole book. You can pick it up, read a bit, put it down, pick it up later again if you're bored, read something different. And um, it's one of those things, especially if, if you've never read one, poetry or short stories or otherwise, you're never really certain what you're going to see. So thank you, Smart Pig, for that. Now we're going to get on... <sighs> Fucking... C920 bullshit. Uh, we're going to get on to uh, blah, 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 blah. some of the bigger packages. Got a whole stack of these things. Came in from, as I said, um, Blackpool. Oh, very nice. And I, and, I, and I know actually who it is that sent this to me. This individual sent me some really fun stuff before. If you want to send me some fun shit too, by the way, um, P.O. Box listings down below. Um, I got a tiny little one, so it's great. So, like, I pay. I uh, paid like 60 bucks for six months or something like that. And uh, it's like, oh, the package is too big. We're just going to hold it behind. And then I look at these big boxes and I see people going into them. And I wonder, why did you do that? Why, 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 did you, why did you do that? Is it so important that you'd be able to get your cookies on Columbus Day? That you needed to shell out the additional $100 or whatever? But uh, I'm not here to criticize other people's postal decisions. I'm just here to open my own mail and then hang out with some of you guys and hopefully some some someone will maybe jump in i don't know it doesn't know. now it might mean streaming it, there we go me and streaming it's a it's a it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hit and miss thing you know but then again who gives a shit so let's see what this first one is yeah this knife sucks too ah. oh i need to invest in some real knives Ooh. 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 You're kidding. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait. This isn't for me. This this thing is sized for someone smaller. This is for Quinn. This is for Quinn. A little Harry Potter shirt. She'll enjoy that. The kid loves Harry Potter. And this is a, this is a lovely sweater, too. Really nice and soft. So, yeah. Now, she'll get the well, little Quinn. will get to rock some of her... Uh, some of her... Some of her... Harry Potter geekdom merch, and it also came with this thing. It's a Slytherin lanyard. Well, that's pretty nice. Let's see. Um, TMA Warner Brothers Entertainment. There we go. Nice. I think it's pewter. Really, it's actually quite pretty. Um, so we'll see how. They, I'm sure the kid is going to be pretty thrilled to see this. This is the funny thing I love is that um. Like half the time, half the time packages come in, and it's like, "Hey, Nick, yeah, we love your work, by the way. This is this is for uh, this is for big money, future Empress Quinn, the the one person who uh, who really matters more than anybody else." And um, I ain't gonna argue with that notion. 
but so thank you for that. I'm sure she's going to be pretty psyched to see both of these. Um, she's actually had a pretty rough week. I'm not going to go into details, but the kids, the kiddo, uh, well, she's a trooper. She's always having to sort of unfortunately um, deal with a bunch of bullshit that a 10 year old really shouldn't have to, but she does it like a champ. So I look forward to this. She's coming over this weekend. It's going to brighten her week. I'm sure. And what else do we have here? What's this? What is this? Uh-huh, now this would be for me, I'm guessing. Now, this is a t-shirt. Um, fucking Batman. It's a badass Batman one, too. It's nice, too, because, I mean, yeah, I dress nice. Let's, let's be honest. I dress, I dress pretty nice, but all the same, it's I do love getting myself some, some casual human clothes to, you know, to, to sort of uh, to disguise my uh, more pretentious nature. And yeah, they, oh, this is a nice one. This is a, a nice soft t-shirt too. Ah, that's pretty dope right there. I'm liking that. Thank you for that. And what is this, this thing here? Oh shit! More Harry Potter stuff for the for the Quinny Quan. She got herself some pins. Hell yeah! These are gonna be adorning her backpack, I'm sure. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, let's see, Stupefy, Slytherin, little note. Yeah, she's going to love these things. They're going to go on her backpack, which um, hopefully will inspire her to actually maintain control of her backpack. As the kid, she does all of her homework while she's at school. Like, she actually uses... Oh, what's on? One more thing. Oh, one more thing. Shit. Don't let the muggles get you down. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> For a kid with no keys, she's got a really nice key ring and lanyard collection building right now. I'm sure she's going to love these things. Yeah, but the kid, she does her homework at school, right? And um, and so, like, you know, I'll pick her up and... Uh, yeah, part two of four. Oh, so I'm opening these out of order. And uh, yeah, so she does her homework at school. I'll pick her up sometimes. No backpack, no books, no nothing. And I'll be like, you got any homework? No, I did it already. And I'm like, I'll ask her, like, yeah, for real? Like, you actually did your homework? And then she'll just be like, yeah, I did. And then I'll check her grades. And it turns out she did. So she's actually nullified the need for a backpack because all of her schoolwork, home or otherwise, is done at school. Unless it's for a writing competition. Which, by the way, I'll mention something I'm very proud of. But we're going to crack into another package real quick. So let's take a look at this. So it's got some weight. Some, well, some weight to it. It's, uh, there we go. I've got to keep it off camera because I haven't actually blacked out the addresses yet. Again, I'm opening this up largely because I love receiving packages, but I always I feel I feel kind of bad when I when I you know don't open them on air and say a public thank you on the channel to the people who sent them to me, um, either by name or just in general. And also, it's fun. It's a nice you know it's a nice sort of way to sort of bring up the week. So let's see what we got here. Looks like we got some more. We got some more cloth items. Oh shit. Oh, we got a couple shirts here. This first one. Um, uh, Vern, I, I think you're going to have to actually step back and and give up that uh, that Hunter Thompson mantle. Look at this. Oh, goodness. Tell me that's not pure me. Like, when you think of me, tell me you don't think of bright, colorful Hawaiian shirts. Oh, my God. I am. I almost. It makes me sad that summer's over because I would. I would so love to just rock this and go the whole the whole nine yards hat cigarette holder and everything. Oh, isn't that beautiful, Vern? Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I mean, granted, this is the actually the only Hawaiian shirt I, I presently own now, so this is kind of a first. But oh, I like that. Then we got another thing here, though. What is this? This is another another shirt. This is good too because my. Oh, oh, this one's definitely for Quinn. I mean, I, I don't think it would fit me, and I'd, I'd, I'd hate to try, uh, but look at that. Oh, this kid is going to be so fucking styling. <laughs> it's all glimmery and shit, too. She's going to love this. Hopefully her mother lets her actually take it home and own it. Kind of an ongoing problem, not to get too deep into shit, but um, there's this constant dispute about where her stuff belongs, and... Yeah, but uh, she's gonna love that, and she's gonna look so badass. We there will be there will be, um, and she, she she'll feature some of this awesome paraphernalia in future promo videos. Which sometimes I kind of almost think it was a mistake putting her in them, only because uh, not because she doesn't do well, 
but because she pretty immediately um, took to them. And now whenever she shows up, she's like, hey, let's 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 shoot some kind of skit. And she's key. She keeps coming up with ideas, too. So I'll tell you this much. The next two videos, the next two uh, promos, which I've been sadly sort of uh, slacking on, and I'll be getting back to those. But the next two promos that come out will be either her ideas or based on her ideas. So that'll be fun. What the hell is this? A wallet hero, letter opener, ruler, spanner, bottle opener, can opener, peeler, box opener, phone holder, screwdriver. It's a multi-tool! Oh shit. That is that is just cool. I'm just I'm gonna check this out now. Yeah. It's like I don't do Christmas and I didn't get anything for my birthday. So it's nice. I haven't done presents in a while. It's always fun. This is cool though. It's a multi-tool. Multi-pass. Let's see. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Actually, that is fucking cool, actually. So yeah. Wallet sized bottle opener, bottle opener, or can opener. Um, mobile phone stand. So it's got apparently, I'm guessing, oh, my phone's charging, but I'm guessing, yeah, you mount it in the side there and then it serves like a kickstand. Got a little minor, minor, tiny little ruler. The edge here, you can maybe make that out. The edge right here is beveled, so it makes a nice little screwdriver. Oh, this is definitely going in the wallet. This is definitely this is this is the coolest. This is the coolest little uh, little gadget that I've had in a while. What else do we have here? Oh, it's another little mini screwdriver. So this end works as a screwdriver just because it's tapered, so you can get it in there. But if you need something a little finer, it's got that little mini beveled edge right there. That's cool. That is cool. Oh, and it's a peeler on the side too. So technically I could I could peel vegetables with this. You know, for all those times you're just out and about going about your business during the day, you come across a carrot or a potato and you say to yourself, Gah! I can't peel this now. I gotta wait till I get home and by that time I'll be over it. Now I don't need to worry about that anymore. Now I can just I can just straight up be like, oh, you know, that's fine. I can measure the carrot, uh, potato, or uh, what have you, and then I can peel it on the spot, and then I can adjust the screws on the steamer, which I'm sure I'll have on me at the time. It'll be great. I'll be gonna. That'll be wonderful. This is going on my wallet. Now the last one of those I actually had. It's funny because it's just sitting on my desk. Um. It's one of these things. Now, it says Spifey right there. You might be able to see that. Now, if you look back through the video catalog, um, there is a video I uploaded, which was produced by Heineken. And that was the trip out to Vegas where I got to meet David Batista. And I, well, ended up sleeping with this gorgeous German. Um, that's another that's a story for another time. But, um, yeah, I got this one when they took the picture by satellite and the little C40 number there. That was like the, the location on the big platform we were standing on and the satellite zoomed in and then it identified each of us that way. And then we got our pictures and taken off. But yeah, but this, this, this is now being replaced with the wallet hero. I like this thing. Look at that. He's even like, he's even ripping his, 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 it's like, it's like a little Superman thing ought to be here, but instead it's just a massive gaping hole in his chest, which that's not really good for a superhero to have. Oh, letter opener too. Holy shit. Oh my, so many uses. One of the worst things about this thing, it's got some heft to it. I had it in my wallet. No, I mean, one of the card slots. And I used to like to bop Quinn on the head with my wallet. And then I forgot this was in there one time. So it ended up being kind of like a blackjack. Now she didn't like get knocked out or anything, but it was just one of those like, haha, buff. And she's like, ow, that hurt. And I'm like, oh shit. Sorry, kid. So short story of inadvertent child abuse. Oh, and I'm born. I'm joined by a, I'm joined by none other than, than Dan and dragging in the West there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, sorry, shit. Sorry. I got vape fluid that just fell out of there too. King of vapes menthol. That's gonna be That's handy. Cool, yeah, zero milligrams. So I got like a, a I got kind of a bad stigma right now, so I'm not gonna need to talk a lot. No, oh, you, you what? I, I'm I'm I, I'm in an area with a bad signal. 
Oh, okay. It sounded like for a second I thought you said I'm in a safe way right now, so I can't really talk a lot. But <laughs> no, we don't. We have bonds out here. Our version of safe way. Uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, I'm glad you were able to jump in. I mean, shoot, we've got a uh, got about an hour before showtime, so I'm probably only going to go like another 15, 20 minutes, half hour on this. But uh, these are these yeah, are yeah. wonderful. So what are you what are you up in the last like hour? Uh, last last I'm writing out my script for uh for my next video, which will be filming tomorrow. Nice, nice. I I did make a point of actually updating the uh, description for Friday's patron hangout with um with the link to your channel, Hollow Dan. And if you guys are watching now, I mean, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's, it's a work of progress, but as far as like a guy who's just started making videos, he's got, he's got his focus down really good. And he's, he's really, Why, I, 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 I recently chose my niche, my niche. Yeah. My first niche. And 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 I would actually recommend perhaps considering at least uh, maybe renaming uh, your channel uh, uh, maybe uh, Dan of uh, Challenging Audio at least for how you are on streams. It, it's I love how this become a meme too here. Like oh Dan's here. How do you know? <laughs> kind of here, dude, but not entirely. We, we know he's there. When it's almost like you yeah. know. It's like it's like that movie Contacts, except uh, it's impossible to actually get the signal out. And, and I really hope you're not my dad. I'm, uh, and, I'm, and I'm still waiting for Matthew McConaughey and Jodie Foster to show up. Yeah, so I could. Um, I'm, I joined the clerk, so I could join SETI. I don't really remember the specifics, but all I remember is that, like, uh, all I remember is that was it was written by Carl Sagan. Her dad, yeah, her dad was the alien. Now, I want to give, I mean, I'm not going to say the name just because I haven't been given actual permission, but to my friend uh, over across the pond there, um, in a wonderful way, like, it, it's always, like, it's always really cool clothing items, art supplies for Quinn, uh, mostly, and a little gifts for Quinn, and, um, and, and this one I can feel, and it also, because they label what's in here, so I kind of have an idea of what's in here, but I don't know the specifics of what it is, but, uh, those are rookie numbers. You got to get those numbers up. Uh, like, how many, actually, aliens, how many alien species have you contacted? One. <laughs> you got to get those numbers up. Uh, it's going to be next week. On yeah, Star I'm Trek. doing a live stream now. On Wednesday, I'm doing my game. I'm sick of it. You're doing a live stream now? And he's gone. Well, he's still here, but he's, he's quiet. But let's see what we got going on in this piece. Um, I'm gonna pull, try to pull the smaller items out first. I'm back. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> what you get? Yeah, well, the kid has been going to the dentist recently, so they'll be really upset to see this. I hope I'll be sharing. It's a lumpy road. Right. Daniel's delights family chocolate. It turns out I make chocolate too. Oh, this is yeah, I know, and you know, I it's funny. This chocolate's coming through pretty clear. I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's one of the, it's like it's it's funny because last year it was a whole mix of like British pub snacks and British candies. And one thing I can say, um, one thing I can say is that after eating the kind of shit that passes for candy here in the states, when you get a taste of like what they get in England, it it, it is enough to make one slightly jealous. Oh, now we got this is the Mississippi mud, mud, mud pie. This is okay. Yeah, it's all measured. I, oh. I finally mastered OBS to a certain point, so I'm now doing uh, gaming live streams on on this channel, the one you see I, I come out on. Nice. And it, yeah, I'm what playing Stellaris. I'm doing a weekly playthrough of Stellaris. Lars, I'm actually, I've been meaning to actually get back to streaming No Man's Sky because I've been like grinding on that um, game so hard. I'm, I now have many wonderful, amazing ships and a lot of money. Oh, and uh -huh. it's, it, and I've been, well, it's like, as I've been grinding, like I'll spend like stupid amount of hours. Like, I'll, like when I get something done, for instance, last night this happened, I finished uh -huh. the audio book, which by the way, should be going on sale possibly this week. Um, and I finished that out, and I'm like, yes, I'm gonna play some No Man's Sky. I don't feel like streaming because I'm fucking tired, and I don't feel like talking anymore because I just spent five hours. Uh, 
And so I'm grinding and I'm like, I'm looking at my money total and I'm looking at the ships and everything. And I'm like, how the fuck am I going to explain this for the people who enjoyed those streams? It's like, where the fuck did you get yeah. 2 million units? Like, well, I don't hang out with people anymore in real life. <laughs> you, be, you, you've, uh, you, you don't live in neat space anymore. No, I, well, I mean, I, I do. I live in deep space now. I just don't. I just don't. I just don't show it to the world quite as much. So when when I do bring back the No Man's Sky streams, they will be. Um, well, the, the, it'll be it'll be uh, a wealthy man's sky. We'll say. I even got an exotic ship now. I'm so pleased. But this one, Mississippi mud pie. Uh, let's see, eighty-seven percent note chick, Colombian milk chocolate, forty percent min cocoa solids. Milk solids, sugar, cocoa butter, leche, 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 leche. Leche uh, is good. Yeah, there's no. a bunch of shit in this, but oh my god, this is. Um, you ever had fresh leche cake? That's isn't that just milk cake? It's really good stuff, actually. It's it's a very soft kind of spongy cake. It's a it's a Mexican cake, and it's really tasty as hell. Oh, well, shit. I did just mention that that vape fluid I got, which is menthol, not my preferred flavor, but I'm definitely going to use it. But uh, yeah, here I got some. Uh, wait a second. Oh, oh shit! Wait, no, this is actually. Oh, I, can't, I don't know if I'll be able to use this. This is 18 milligram, uh, but this is a coffee flavored vape with uh, fluid, which is definitely. There's caffeine in it. Huh. Did they have caffeine in it? That would be pretty amazing if it did, but I don't think so. Because Ben mentioned once he had a, a menthol uh, flu, uh, menthol fluid that had um that also had caffeine, so he That's didn't terrible. like he was got enough. He never needed to drink coffee. He just wound up on coffee. Couple more. This is a Sig Light. This is again. It's an 18 milligram, so it won't work in my usual. Um, yeah, 18. I just smoke again, right, Canuck? Um, but uh, yeah, this is. I mean, this actually when I, I have a, a small pen unit, which I've been thinking of using as a travel unit, so that might work. And then we've got a 10 mil menthol here. What else we got here? Huh? Oh shit, there's another one. Oh, and then oh, this is just pure nicotine, I believe, or unflavored. Uh, eighteen milligram again. So these are for the smaller pen units, but I've got one of those, so I will make use of that. I gotta find my vape. I gotta find my vape. I have a I have a a, a THC vape. Oh, and this is the USA mix. By the way, uh, uh, Dan here, Dragon in the West, is actually uh, joining us from the uh, from the investment company call center he works at as we can hear from that very very standard office phone in the background um dude I, I need to get i need to just get a soundboard that doesn't sound like a soundboard that sounds like you're actually sitting in one of the old call centers i used to work in uh yeah milliliter sorry yeah milliliter uh well actually this one does say 18 milligrams milliliters but it also says 1.8 percent so if anything, I mean, I'll just give it a try and see what happens. Worst case scenario, yeah, it's ten. This is ten milliliters, so this is eighteen milligrams of nicotine in that. I'll I'll talk with Rhino. He's like sort of the expert on these things. And then I got what's clearly a book here. Oh, oh, well, actually, it's funny. You go by Dragon in the West. Well, this is a. Um, I think this is definitely for Quinn. I mean, I'll probably check it out too. But that she's the artist. I'm 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 all thumbs as it was, but yeah. How to draw dragons. We'll learn to draw dragons together. Look at that dragon. Somebody drew him. This is actually pretty cool, though. This is, it's like it's a series of figure models to show you how dragons come together. And that kid, she does love dragons. So thank you for that. Now, we do have a little letter here. Now, oh, fuck right off. Seriously? Oh, my good goddamn. This has been a routine problem for me. Um, oh, what's happening, Gator? Hey, finally got you guys on time. Yeah, I'm so fighting, with, <laughs> fighting with my webcam. This uh, C920 of mine, I think the boot is like so beaten up. Let's see. Oh, there I am. Although my white balance is all fucked, but that's just what I've come to expect. Thank you, C920. Can't 
can't wait till I get to the DLR. Uh, so let's see. This is part one. This is where the letter is. Hey, hello, Nick. Here's a few more things for you, mostly vaping juice. There's coffee flavor, menthol, USA mix, which is a tobacco variant, and a a Lig Light. Oh, Sig Light. Yeah, can't remember what that is, but I'm pretty sure it also has a tobacco variant. Important, the large menthol bottle has no nicotine. You need to mix it separately with the nicotine bottles included, which, I mean, I'm sure uh, Rhino will be uh, most happy to hear that. He's been he's been trying to convince me to make my own for a while. Um, mine, that's what they are, pure nicotine, only to be used for mixing. So that's going to be these little bastards here. This is just pure yeah. nicotine. Means I, yeah. Do not spill that shit. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. Do not spill. Do not. Touch. I got that warning at VidCon. Yeah, uh, my uh, my my mom uh while back, she was uh, sitting there cleaning my sister's room before she moved out of uh, our folks' place, and my brother-in-law vapes pretty often. He used to keep all his stuff there. Mm -hmm. So a uh, good few of his uh, vials ended up getting knocked off. The little shelf that my sister was keeping them on and my mom went to go and try and clean them up and was just paper towels <laughs> oh yeah when yeah. I, when i was at vidcon actually um uh, uh rhino uh, mm -hmm. he like he had this big ass tackle box right like a toolbox thing <laughs> Shit. Just full of like and he had like every conceivable flavor you could think of plus like the raw nicotine and he like he whipped me up this really nice like apple cinnamon mm -hmm. thing with just the right dosage and all that it was really good and um no uh -oh. what's this hang on what's going on sorry I I i'll report this in a second um <laughs> But uh, yeah, and he was he was very he was very careful in pointing out like if you're gonna be doing this, uh, if you're gonna be making your own and this and that, um, do not touch the nicotine. So Nit nitrate gloves, those are your friends. Yes, yes. Now the letter continues. I don't know anything about vaping as I don't smoke, but I'm because I'm a goody two shoes. Let it be known if they tickle your let let it be known. If they tickle your taste buds, most of the vaping flavors out there are fruity or soda, which is hardly what grizzly men who light matches on their cheeks double are going to be into. There's a bandana. I haven't gotten to that. As I know, your head is bigger than Jupiter. True. Very true. Um, a Hawaiian shirt on the subject of T-shirts. I'm the one who sent you and Jeff out the blue YouTube Saints shirt. Oh, that one was that's one of my favorite T-shirts, too. Uh, mm -hmm. Jeff, my, um, mine is black on red. Mine is red on black. His is black on red. Um, uh oh. All right, we'll get to that in a second. Um, there's also a T-shirt for your daughter, as well as an art book. I still have a few things to send, but it's not possible to follow this up just yet. The Royal uh, Blackmails International postage prices are scandalous. I am looking into possibly trying out a third-party parcel service, but it doesn't look like their prices are any more reasonable it's an annoying barrier i'll keep check uh, i'll keep checking the status of your p.o box in any case regards um we'll say d just in case there was no clarifying statement as to whether or not i was uh given an okay to uh to highlight who that was but we got one more here now let me take a quick look uh oh Oh, ruh row. Something end up goofing? Uh, nothing too too serious. It's just there might end up. We might end up with another Friday shit show. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> Wasn't that bad? I mean, now the cool thing, either which way, the next guest, the next guest we will be having on the show is actually not a YouTuber. Um. It kind of a more of a, an interesting person from the broader world. Um, mm -hmm. uh, name is David. Uh, I don't have his last name up at the moment because it's in my notes. But it's actually the. Do either of you guys remember the HBO series Carnival? Uh, vaguely. Yeah, hey, it came out. There's, there's there's been a lot of uh, been a lot of uh, liquor uh, between now and then. 
Yeah. Also, I mean, that did come out a while ago. It was a really strange series. One of HBO's, like, it was out during, like, the early days of Oz. It was one of their, like, big series in the beginning. Um, I am actually, we are actually going to be having the creator of Carnival on as a guest. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. And this uh, was a really, it was a nice hookup, too, because so it, it's, it's becoming a sort of a, like a club kind of affair in this way. So the same publisher, Clash Books, who my book is going to be published with uh, mm. early next year. And they're the same pu per people who published our friend Vernaculus there. And they're actually the same people who published the author. And because it's going to be coming out soon, I'll just say it. Uh, I last night final, finally finished, fully finished and most mastered um, the audio book for Low Res Wonderbread's book. Oh, yeah, I didn't want to like spoil it too soon, but um, and I'm just gonna hide that, even though if you guys buy it, but it's called Practice Makes Perfect. We're not gonna show <laughs> you the other name, but oh fuck it, it's his name, Jamie Corrales. Mm. Um, yeah, I I read the audio book of this. Um, had to re-record a lot of it, but I finished it last night, and this is actually published again by Clash Books, and mm -hmm. they are publishing the books for David Knopf, creator of Carnival. Um. It's, it, I'm really loving the people at Clash Books. Christoph Paul, who mm -hmm. is sort of head editor, publisher, CEO of that company. He was the one who gave me my book deal, which saved my fucking ass. Uh, in, <laughs> in addition to finally actually like affirming the fact that I'll be a published author in my own name and not just a ghost writer or co-writer or whatever it might have been. And mm -hmm. uh, he published, this is Low Res Wonderbread's book, Practice Makes Perfect. Having read it, I'll say this much. It was a... Pain in the dick to read. <laughs> Not he has to a read. certain. Uh, I I imagine he's probably got like that cadence of how he speaks, sort it's of very, like translate. It is. It's very similar. Now, if you're just gonna read the book, or in my case with the audiobook, if you're gonna listen to it, and by the way, if you uh, buy that audiobook when it goes on sale, well, uh, just keep in mind I get a portion of that. But um, it, it's it's a very conversational style. It's mm -hmm. there's nothing stuffy to it. He's got there's no pretense or any bullshit in the way mm -hmm. he writes. It's a well written book. It's hard to read out loud if you're accustomed to reading like you know AMA style proper English, but it's it was a really good book. I'll I'll just give you the 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 back cover here. Wedding videographer Heath Alvarez is looking for something new to reignite his passion for life. Q elementary school teacher and stand up comedian Paul Brokovich, fed up with mundanity and the susceptible youth of Parkins Elementary, Paul hires Alvarez to document the forty, the 24 hours leading up to his most crucial gig to date. It's an interesting story. And, um... I might yeah. I, it's, it's, it, uh, is it going to be on, uh, uh, on Amazon through, uh, Audible by chance, or? I, th I believe so, yeah. It's either going to be that or iTunes. Once, uh, once, like, I mean, it's, I gave him the final mastered full copy. I'm going to send him all of the individual chapters because I read it chapter by chapter so it can be split up if people want. Mm -hmm. um, I leave the final production up to him. And when he puts out the link and when he when he puts it on sale, I'll be sure to I'll be sure to shamelessly plug and promote it <laughs> everywhere I possibly can. Um, hey, why not? But I'll help yeah, like that. <laughs> Yeah, I'll say this, like, I, he, uh, he asked me, I, I got the, you know, I got the, I got the job as it was, <laughs> reading, um, the end of September, and, well, as as I, Gator, you look like Monday and Matt, huh, Gator kind of looks like Monday and Matt, what, how, he look, he, you look a little bit like Monday and Matt, who, it's the beard, he does, me, oh, you, it, yeah, it's I the long, I, I've got a hell of a lot longer beard than he does. Yeah, I know, but we're he, like if mundane <laughs> Matt decided to grow out his beard. He's like the fucking Klingon version of mundane Matt right here. Not with like not the fucked up forehead. I have the fucked up forehead. You have the 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 big bold beard. I don't even know why that came up. I've been watching too much Deep Space Nine. Clearly, probably. Hey, dude, I I love that time when the Klingon when the Klingon tried to headbutt Data and ended up with a nice you know. Waltz on his head. Uh, fucking moon speak. <laughs> yeah, but with that, if you guys want to check him out, I mean, you can find him on Twitter, which you won't find me on Twitter too much because, uh, just in case nobody's picked up on it, I'm I'm taking an extended hiatus from social media in general. I want to focus on making videos, writing my book, 
getting this work done, when I started reading this audio book, um, I got about halfway, maybe two thirds of the way through the book. And then I started reviewing the tapes and I found out that you could hear my neighbors screaming at their children. Oh, on the bright- <laughs> hey, on the bright side, means you have a really good mic. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, no, this, this is a good answer. And I turned it up quite a bit, but I heard that. And then there was also like, there's a freight train which goes by down the hill. Mm-hmm. Like, it's about a quarter mile away, but it's still, they blow the whistle at every intersection. So and I didn't think it came through, and then I realized it too. There were some takes I had to scrap because you could hear my stomach growling. Jesus, so, yeah, yeah, that is, that is a really good mic. No, like uh, I I I I feel your pain on that shit because on quite a few of the little one-off series or things like I, I'm I'm doing like a Halloween let's play thing for for this month and whatnot, and just. Normally, I try to leave the the window a little bit cracked, get some fresh air, things like that. There's always some dickhead downstairs that wants to rev the engine of their car, oh, or thinks they have to sit there and like oh. lock their car like eight times. And oh no! Beat. What what we get here? I, I, I've had that. In I, respect. I've had that with my bro. He'll just show up. He'll just show up. God damn it! I'm filming right now. He's like, but yeah. I want to ask you, Mike. I I'm like I said, do not disturb. I've, I've, I actually, I didn't read. I, I hung a, I hung a sign on my back door, um, on, on the, on the alleyway door saying recording in progress, do not disturb, which has actually done, it's done a good amount of work in keeping the, uh, there's some kids who work at a shop downstairs who will like come upstairs to smoke blunts and hmm. I'm all for them partying, but it's like, if I'm trying to get work done or if I'm like watching a movie with Quinn, it's like, yo, you guys take your loud ass fucking party conversation downstairs again, please. Hmm. But, uh, I just learned it. yeah, what we, what we get, what we get is like the, the douchebags with the diesel dually trucks. Oh. Yeah, the kind of idiots who are like, yeah, I'm going to fucking rip a big ass black cloud. Cause fuck Neil deGrasse Tyson. And like you yeah, have the fucking smokestacks and a fucking yeah. fart can on the ass. Yeah, it's like, dude, you've got like 200 yards in which to try and impress literally no one except two brick buildings. So, good on you there. But, uh, just so we can get through these packages, too, this I'm excited about. Walkers, Chocolates of London, Milk Chocolate, Irish Cream, Truffle Liqueurs. Hmm. Oh, them's going to be tasty, yeah, I imagine. In fact, I'll probably pop one of those before I stop this. But what else is here? What else is What are the presents that I got? What are the presents? Nick, I send you a present, but it's but it's illegal. Right. You should, should, because keep in mind, who knows what happens? You know, there's like you know, let's just say like the U.S. Postal Service is unknowingly the biggest drug dealers in the country. Um, That's true. That's so true. We got some lint. This is funny though. This is funny that this gets sent to me here because this is lint chocolate. Right? Jesus Christ, in learn some, learn some might control my. But uh, this is a sub- this is sublime. Um, and then this is I'm really looking forward to this one. Heavenly creme brulee. Now the funny thing about lint chocolate though is that I don't know. I mean I'm sure they're overseas there, but yeah, because this is all this is all Polish. I'm thinking. I don't know. Or no, it's Cyrillic, Russian. Uh, Cape Town, ZA. I don't even know what that is. Um. But here's the thing: is like lint chocolate. The the American factory is mm-hmm. here in New Hampshire. It's just out on the seacoast. And a friend of mine, um, who's actually he's on Discord. He goes by Panty Shot. He'd hate me to say that, so let him know I did. Um, <laughs> well, he used to be the security guard at the factory years ago, like 10, 11 years ago. He was the security guard at that chocolate factory. Mm-hmm. They are so specific yeah. about their product that they they will they will they'll make a huge batch of shit and then they'll put it through a focus group and if they have like let's say a roasted almond chocolate truffle those ones that you see for like a dollar at the gas station if anyone in that focus group says anything negative about it like ooh, the almonds are a little over roasted or you know maybe this is like too dark a chocolate they will scrap and throw out the entire batch but when they do that before they 
before they throw it out yeah my boy my buddy like they'll offer it to the the janitors and the security guards and shit and i remember that it was getting close to christmas he came back with a full-size industrial garbage bag full of <laughs> fully wrapped and ready to wow. go lint chocolate truffles that the company just decided weren't up to their standards and they were so good he was actually able to 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 trade bundles of these to like freight truckers and shit who would come in and out and you know there's always a certain amount of breakage for a, a freight and so yeah guy'd be hauling like several pallets worth of breakfast sausage let's say and he knew his margins he'd trade some of the breakfast sausage for these bags of tr like truffles <laughs> so that he could keep <laughs> that's like would... barter at, at its finest that, that that's oh, yeah. that's Ugh. that's cat I love capitalism so much. We were, that's not capitalism. That's barter. It's we, that's a black market shit, but we were mm -hmm. fucking drowning in these things. Now, for the final oh. item here, for the final item here, and it's curious, he said something about a bandana, but I didn't see one. But all the same, we got some more art supplies for the Quinny Quinn. Got some fine point markers, some glitter and glue. Oh boy, won't that be fun? I'll need a vacuum cleaner. Uh, <laughs> And then let's see what is this? What is this? Um, oh, nice! Yeah, uh, it's it's a, it's basically it's like a it's a you know oh the little felty uh, color color in things felty color in uh, yeah color in things. Now, one thing I can tell you about Quinn is I show her this whole thing where it's got sort of a splashy ocean thing. You can guarantee uh -huh. none of that shit's gonna be remotely blue. <laughs> she's like uh, she's all red. oh no her whole thing is like why do it the way they tell me to do it when somebody else has already done that and then this is cool I, I think we'll build this together this is one of these um oh those are always fun yeah a bunch of those good. Or, and it's a v-twin motorcycle and so yeah i think i think my quinny quinn and i oh. are build this together that'll be a lot of fun i love how it's just generically labeled american motorcycle <laughs> it's, it's, it's probably one of the probably one of the same kind that I used to get when I was younger from oh, yeah. uh, Harbor Freight. Yeah. Uh, well, this one, like, like those kind of kits were always at Harbor Freight and stuff. And when I get, oh yeah, Harbor Freight's great. Yeah. In fact, actually, if you ever want, and Dan, you might like this. Uh, if you go to Harbor Freight, you can actually yeah, there's one in my place. Yeah, you can uh, you can go there and you can actually buy used shipping blankets for pretty cheap. You just got to clean the shit out of them, but they make mm -hmm. amazing soundproofing. Yeah, really. Yeah, Damn, I'm not even I'm not even shitting you. My my. Well, we were friends for a long time. Who knows what it is now? But uh, a buddy of mine, he's he's the the audio engineer guy, um, he swears by him. He's got an entire little sound studio. Um, where he just hung those things, and it's yeah, it's noise deadening to hell and back. I'll pull up, I'll pull up on my eleven hundred V twin with all of its potato, 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 mm -hmm. and he won't even know. <laughs> well, no idea. So I gotta bring this to a close though, because I gotta get everything ready for the show tonight, which we're gonna be going on in half an hour over on the uh, Twitch channel. The link is in the description. Jables Boogley showing up. With the most fantastic timing, um, <laughs> as I'm coming. To an end. Yep. Yeah. Um, Jables, Jables is good at that. Yeah. Well, I mean. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> we're all good at something. You know, we're all good at something. Um, but yeah, I mean, thanks guys for hanging out. Thank you, everybody. Well, thank you to uh, both Smart Pig and my friend D from Ye Old Jolly England for sending mm -hmm. these wonderful packages. I'm genuinely, I love this. I love this Hawaiian shirt, but I really can't wait to see. Quinn Rocky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> streamed in buffer. <laughs> Something about buffering during streaming? No, I'm gonna be listening to this whole thing to tra LA traffic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm glad yeah. I can make your LA traffic experience a bit better. I no, no, no. I, I'm talking about. I'm talking about Saints. I'm gonna be having listen to that on the way home. Uh. Oh, well, I hope in that case, at least I hope the show then um, makes the traffic experience better. Uh, but Gator, Dan, thanks for coming around. All 26 watching right now. Thank you, guys. Hey, it's all good. I hope, uh, I hope everyone uh, makes their way over to uh, the YouTube Saints Twitch in about a half an hour when we're going to be... Uh, we got a pretty good... I, I got a pretty good slate of some odd, weird news shit going on. We're going to have a pretty good time there. 
But I'm going to kill this stream and shut this shit down so I can go get ready so that I'm not... Real, real quick, I'm going to be doing a post-Saints uh, uh, stream uh -huh. tonight uh, when I play, when I play uh, Solaris. It'll be the post... Late at night, but it'll still be... It, I like to think of it as the post-Saints stream. Hmm. Uh, it'll probably be, it'll be around 10, 10 o'clock. Yep, and I guess... So, my, and yeah. actually... Head on over. There, actually, Jeff's about to do the pre-show now, so I'm going to have to actually talk with him about that on the, the news that he was talking about to see if we're going to have a Friday shit show or maybe a special off-day show. So, mm. Hallelujah, Aloha, Akbar, and God bless every one of you, and especially this um, fucking creme brulee chocolate, which I'm going to start cramming into right about now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have fun, man. Yeah, in a bit. All right.